Sing a song. Come on, let's hear it. Robin, yeah. tell Belinda to sing a song. <laughs> well, you don't see the ball. I can't make her do nothing. <laughs> Lynn, would you please sing a song? There you go. With Thank your you, heavenly Robin. anointed voice. Such an awesome anointing. Yes. We have to pump her up. <laughs> Zion is calling me yes. to a higher place of praise, to stand upon the mountain and to magnify your name, to tell all the people of every nation that he reigns. Oh, Zion is calling me to a higher place of praise. Oh, Zion is calling me to a higher place of praise. To stand upon the mountain and to magnify his name. To tell all the people of every nation that he reigns. Oh, Zion. Is calling me to a higher place of praise. Amen. 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 I thank you, praise God. Amen. For all that's been said and done thus far. Um, Perry Rafford, uh, let's hear that horn, man. You have you have something prepared or you can get something together right quick? That's fine. <laughs> Amen. Thank, thank you, everybody, for everything that's been done. Amen. We have a, I have a special request. Um, Robin, I see you got uh, Aunt Cody on here. Aunt Cody, unmute Aunt Cody, uh, Robin. Okay. okay. Aunt Cody? Yes. Uh, I want you to lead us uh, in prayer. We have Jasmine on. She's going in for a procedure tomorrow. Could you pray for her, please? Sure can. Yes. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we come into your presence. Thank you, Jesus. With joy in our hearts and praise on our lips. Thank you, God, for who you are. For you are the great I have. You are Jehovah's Jireh, our provider. You are our healer, God. Whatever we stand in need of, we can find in you. And so I come in confidence and assurance, lifting up Jasmine in the name of Jesus. And I send the word, God. I thank you.
things from the medicine. I thank you from the doctor. But ultimately, we place our confidence in the thank Almighty you, God. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Lord. In faith. I believe, God, that in your word, you said they that know my name will put their trust in me. And you would not forsake us that we thank you today, God. We thank you for healing of that from God. In the name, Lord Jesus, we give you praise in advance for knowing what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. And so I thank you that we while you work at us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and so Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. Amen. I thank and praise God for uh, all that's been said and done thus far. I thank God for the spirit that's, that's present here. Amen. I Cody, thank you, Lord. Uh, I just feel the presence of the almighty God present yeah. here today. Amen. I would, uh, uh, I want to bring uh, Ron on right now, but I want to Every time I think I got something in my hand that's right, I got the wrong thing. So they're going to start calling me often wrong. Amen. But uh, either way, here we go. Uh, at this time, we want to bring the speaker forward. Today we have with us uh, Elder, Elder Ronald, Dr. Ronald Qualls, amen, of, of Elevation, Enrichment, and Empowerment Ministries. Uh-oh, somebody else. Um, so we have him with us to, to, to bring the word today. Amen. We want to give him all the time that he can, so he can do whatever God wants him to do. Uh, I, I, I don't want to uh, uh, impose upon your wife, but if Faye wants to sing a song before you preach, during your preaching or after you preach, I'm sure you'll let her. <laughs> so hear ye, hear ye, Ron Qualls. Amen. Come on, Doc Qualls. Amen. Unmute yourself. Good afternoon, beloved of God. We bring you greetings from Beth Page United Presbyterian Church, <laughs> located in Kannapolis, North Carolina. We thank the Lord for our pastor, the Reverend Alexander Porter, who is a gifted and anointed pastor, preacher, and teacher. But we come this afternoon giving all glory, honor, and praise to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We also give honor to Pastor Paul Alexander, who is the set man over this house. We also give honor to teaching pastor, Elder Belinda Alexander. We give honor to all the different tiers of leadership joining us on this platform this afternoon. Uh, I don't intend to be before you long this afternoon. And as my bishop would always say, the late Bishop Milton L. Carter used to say, it don't take all day. Now, before I get into my message or what the Lord has given me to share, you may be asking yourself, uh, why is that preacher so dressed up at the house. Now, having said that, I am assuming that you think I look better or more dressed up than I usually do. <laughs> and and actually, uh, that may not be the case. <laughs> but but, but I, I preached one service this morning at our church, and then I was uh, a part of another service this afternoon. And so now it's good once again for God's people to uh, assemble ourselves together uh, in the spirit of friendship, in the spirit of fellowship, and in the spirit of worship. Uh, certainly, I do not want to get into calling names uh, for fear that I may leave out somebody, and I'm going to know that everybody is somebody in the kingdom of God. So we thank each and every one of you for your gifts, for your talents, your and your abilities, and whatever giftings and anointings that you bring to the body of Christ so that his purpose might not will be accomplished not only in the life of an individual but the Bible lets us know that we are the body of Christ and that we're members in particular. Now uh, I was okay until uh, 
the last person joined us on the call. And, uh, but I'm gonna be all right though. Of course, when she gets on the call, that adds just a little bit of extra uh, dimension to what it is that uh, God would give me to say. But certainly I'm confident that each and every one of you are praying with me and for me that God will be glorified in everything that's said and done. Certainly I dare not uh, go any further without mentioning and honoring and acknowledging my lovely wife, Lady Faith Qualls, who is also a, a gifted and anointed woman of God. She is a true psalmist, a true uh, praise and worship leader. So I thank God not only uh, for what she is doing uh, uh, for the kingdom and for the body of Christ, but I'm also grateful for her wisdom for her counsel, for her, for her consolation, and all that she brings to uh, my life and also to our If you have your Bibles, I'm going to ask if you'll turn with me or if you have another form of device. I'm going to ask if you'll turn with me to Matthew's Gospel, chapter 16. I'll be reading verse, starting at verse 13, Matthew chapter 16, and I will start reading at verse 13. And it reads, when Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples saying, whom do men say that I, the son of man am? And they said, some say that thou art John the Baptist, some say Elias, and others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said unto them, but who do you say that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus, Jesus answered Peter saying, blessed art thou Simon by Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this unto you, but my Father, which is in heaven. And I say unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. For just a few moments this morning, I like to use for a thought or a subject, who do you say that I am. Let us pray. Lord God, we thank you for your presence. We thank you for your power. We thank you for the Holy Spirit who is able to anoint us to, so that we might have ears to hear what the Spirit is saying to the church this morning. Now, God, I also ask that you would let your anointing rest on me. Send that which makes preaching easy, but even more more than that, send the anointing, O oh God, not so that I might make an impression, but so that I might make an impartation and an impact into the lives of your people. Now, God, we give you praise and we give you glory and we give you honor. We ask that in everything that's said and done, that your name will be glorified. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. But who do you say that I am? The Gospel of Matthew is one of the four Gospels in the New Testament. Rudy, are you translating? Uh, yes, I was waiting for a green light. Uh, okay. The Gospel of Matthew is one of the four Gospels in the New Testament. El libro de Mateo Es uno de los cuatro evangelios. Matthew, who was a Jew, was one of Jesus' closest disciples that accompanied him all the time. Mateo era uno de los discípulos más cercanos a Jesús que lo acompañaron todo el tiempo. Beginning from the baptism of John unto the day that Jesus was taken up. 
desde el bautismo de Juan hasta el día en el cual el Señor ascendió al cielo. Therefore, Matthew is a competent witness of what he has recorded. De esta manera, Mateo es un testigo competente para declarar las cosas que sucedieron. He begins his account with Christ's birth, Jesus's parents, and yes. Jesus's genealogy. Empieza dando testimonio del nacimiento de Jesús, de sus padres y de su genealogía. He also gives his account concerning Christ's earthly ministry, his death, his burial, and his resurrection. También da testimonio del uh, ministerio terrenal de Jesucristo, de su muerte, su ascensión al cielo también. And in chapter 16, verses 13 to 18, what we have here is a private conference with Christ, which Christ had with his disciples concerning himself. Y en el capítulo 16, del versículo 13 al 18, es una conversación de Dios con sus discípulos, haciéndoles, preguntándoles, ¿Quién es él? He asked his disciples, what are the opinions of others concerning me? Lo que el Señor les pregunta es, ¿cuál es la opinión de los demás acerca de mí? He asked them, who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? Jesús les preguntó, ¿qué dicen los hombres acerca del Hijo del Hombre? Then he asked them, what their thoughts were concerning him, saying, but who do you say that I am? Pero luego les pregunta a los discípulos y les dice, ¿Y ustedes quién decís que yo soy? That is the question for us to consider this morning. Who is he and what is he to you? Who do you say that he is? Esa es la pregunta para nosotros hoy día. Cuando el Señor nos pregunta, ¿Quién decís que soy yo? If someone asks us the question, they're hoping to get an answer. Si alguien nos hace esa pregunta, espera una respuesta. The person that asks the question wants an answer or they might have an urgent need to get an answer. La persona que hace la pregunta quiere una respuesta o necesita con urgencia una respuesta. And for reasons we might not even understand. And they don't need any answer, but they need the right answer. Y por razones que nosotros aún no entendemos, la cuestión es que ellos necesitan una respuesta a una pregunta. Because if they're given the wrong information, their situation could suddenly or eventually go from bad to worse. Porque si le damos una respuesta que no es la acertada, su situación puede pasar de mal a peor. How many of us understand? How many of us understand that our opinions don't necessarily mean that the answers we're giving are right. ¿Cuántos de nosotros estamos de acuerdo en que nuestra opinión a veces no es lo que nosotros pensamos, sino lo correcto? Because our opinions are often based on our personal life experiences that might be right to us and right for us, but not necessarily right. Porque hay veces que nuestras respuestas están basadas en nuestras experiencias y en lo que nosotros consideramos lo correcto, pero no necesariamente es. One of the questions that most of us have asked at one time or another is for directions. Una de las cosas que aún preguntamos nosotros con frecuencia es dirección. To help us, to help get us to the place where we're going. This is before Waze, Siri, and GPS came on the scene. 
es, en consecuencia, para poder llegar a un punto al cual nosotros queremos llegar, y en este caso usamos diferentes formas como el GPS o otras formas. I can remember back in the day uh, when my wife and I were trying to get to a specific location and after we passed the same gas station five times, we realized that we were lost and needed some directions. Yo me acuerdo hace tiempo que yo y mi esposa estábamos buscando una dirección y al pasar la misma gasolinera cinco veces nos dimos cuenta que necesitábamos dirección. We needed some directions to help us get to the place where we were trying to go. Necesitábamos dirección para poder llegar al lugar donde queríamos ir. So we stopped and asked somebody for directions. But after talking to the person for a couple of minutes, we quickly realized that they didn't know how to get there either. Nos detuvimos y le preguntamos a alguien por la dirección y después de unos minutos nos dimos cuenta que tampoco sabía cómo llegar. But when you're lost and in trouble and you don't know which way to go, we don't just want any answer, we need the right answer. Es que cuando estamos en peligro y necesitamos la dirección, no podemos nosotros confiar en cualquier respuesta, sino en la, en la respuesta verdadera. And in order for us to get the right answer, we have to be talking to the right person. Para obtener la respuesta verdadera, tenemos que hablar con alguien que en realidad conozca la verdad. Can anybody remember a time in your life when you were lost and needed some direction? And after wandering in the wilderness for a long time, somebody came along that could help move you further along and further on up the road. Hay algunos de vosotros que se acuerde que cuando estaba extraviado y andaba en el desierto, alguien llegó y te dio la dirección para que puedas llegar y continuar en ese caminar. We all understand that questions are a major part of our life experiences. Sabemos que las preguntas es una parte importante de nuestro diario vivir. Some folk want to know who we are. And depending on who they ask, the responses concerning who we are will vary or can vary from person to person. Hay veces que las personas quieren saber quiénes somos nosotros y dependiendo a quién le pregunten, las respuestas pueden variar de persona a persona. People's responses to the question concerning who we are hopefully will be and should be directly related to how well they know us. Depende de la pregunta que hagan y a quién se la hagan, tiene que estar relacionado en realidad en quién realmente somos. A friend or a close associate's response will be different from a Facebook friend's response. La respuesta de un amigo o un asociado va a ser muy diferente a la de un amigo fiel. How many of us know what Mark Zuckerberg has known for years. He knows that in life, we are blessed if we have two or three true friends. ¿Cuántos de nosotros nos damos cuenta a través de este varón llamado Mark uh, Zuckerberg que a veces la, las respuestas varían un poco? I believe that's why Mark Zuckerberg uses the description Facebook friends. He knows that there is a distinction to be made between a true friend and a Facebook friend. One of the things that I've noticed is that Facebook friends sometimes have two faces. A veces nos damos cuenta, conforme a la respuesta de este señor Zuckerberg, que la respuesta de los amigos y los amigos fieles son muy diferentes para poder entender quién somos. How many of us know that in order to get to know someone well, it takes time? And not just time together, but quality time. ¿Cuántos de nosotros sabemos que para conocer a alguien hay que compartir tiempo? Y no solo tiempo, sino tiempo de calidad. Now, 
we might not be able to control or decide who we meet. We may meet some folk on our jobs. We may meet other folks uh, at a sporting event, the grocery store, or a social event. Nosotros no podemos escoger con quién nos vamos a relacionar a veces porque es en el trabajo, en el deporte o en la tienda, pero lo importante es saber quiénes somos. And although we may not be able to pick and choose who we meet, we can decide how well we like to get to know them. Y aunque nosotros no podemos escoger a quiénes conocer, también, pero podemos escoger ¿Qué tan bien podemos conocer a esta persona? I'm convinced that the closeness of any relationship and friendship will depend on the amount of fellowship. Yo estoy seguro de que para conocer a una persona depende del tiempo que estemos juntos para conocerle. Fellowship helps us to get to know somebody better. Pasar tiempo juntos nos ayuda a conocernos mejor. Talking with someone is one way of getting to know them better. How many of us know that prayer is a way for us to get to know the Lord our God better? La conversación es una mm -hmm. parte para conocer a alguien. Y sabemos que la conversación es la oración para conocer a Dios. Spending time in worship is also a way for us to get to know the Lord better. Sabemos que también pasar tiempo en adoración es otra forma de conocer a Dios mejor. There's an old hymn that our grandparents used to sing back in the day that goes something like this, uh, Reverend Rafford. Let us have a little talk with Jesus. Mm -hmm. Tell him all about our troubles. He'll hear our faintest cry, and he'll answer by and by. The best way for us to get to know someone better is not through a one-way conversation. La mejor forma de conocer a alguien es también de una conversación que no es de un solo lado. Hay un himno antiguo en el cual dice, tengamos una pequeña conversación y conozcámonos mejor en esta conversación. The best way for us to get to know somebody better is not through a one-way conversation, uh, but a dialogue. La, la mejor forma de conocer a alguien no es de una conversación de un solo lado, sino tener un diálogo. How many times have you tried to have a conversation with someone and they did all the talking? and very little listening. <laughs> the irony in this is that we have one mouth and two ears. ¿Cuántas veces ha tenido una conversación en la cual esta persona ha hablado mucho y no te ha dejado hablar? La ironía de esto es que hay una sola boca y dos oídos. Just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Remember, when we were applying for a job, there were certain questions that we had to answer when we were filling out the job application. Sabemos que una pequeña conversación hace una gran diferencia. Nos acordamos cuando fuimos a aplicar para el primer trabajo y qué es lo que tuvimos que hacer. And on most job applications, there is a section that asks you to provide a list of references. They asked us to provide the reference's name, contact information, and how long they've known us. En la aplicación de trabajo hay una forma que llenar y a donde pregunta a dónde están tus referencias, tus contactos, y cuánto tiempo tienes de conocerle. And the folk that we put down as references are usually not people that we just met or someone that doesn't know us that well. The list of references may include someone we work with, someone we may have worked for, or someone that you've known for a long time. Someone who knows enough about you so that they're able to tell inquiring minds the things that they want to know. 
Usualmente no ponemos en una aplicación personas que conocemos por poco tiempo. Ponemos a alguien que conocemos por mucho tiempo y que va a dar una respuesta favorable a cómo te conocen y que va a hablar lo que tú quieres que digan de ti porque te conocen. But I also need you to understand that even some of our casual acquaintances know enough about us to share their opinions about us with somebody else. Y es que los que con los que nos juntamos casualmente no conocen mucho de ti para hablar algo acertado de ti. So, we need to learn to be kind to everybody we meet and to try to treat people fair and with respect. Así es que tenemos que ser amables con cualquier persona que nos juntamos y ser justos para que cuando hablen de ti, hablen algo bueno. Because if their reference happens to be based on our reputation, we could be in trouble. I'm just saying. Porque si ellos hablan conforme a la reputación que tenemos, pueda que estemos en problemas. I saw a quote somewhere that said, if we take care of our character, God will take care of our reputation. Can I get an amen on that? Amen. Yo leí en cierta ocasión donde decía que si nosotros cuidamos nuestro carácter, tendremos una buena reputación. Beloved, we have searched, we have done research, and we have been seeking and searching for answers that can help us stop searching for answers aimlessly, hopelessly, and ignorantly. Amados, tenemos entre nosotros muchas preguntas y respuestas, pero nosotros tenemos que apuntar a las respuestas acertadas para que no fallemos en, el, en este buscar de el dirección espiritual. You probably don't like the word ignorant. Most of us don't. But all the word ignorant means is not knowing. And the Lord said in Hosea 4, 6, that my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. I don't know about you, but I'm not insulted. I'm inspired to uh, try to know, hallelujah, what the word of God is saying, what the word of God is uh, providing, what the word of God is instructing and telling us to do. I don't know about you, But, but none of God's people ought to be ignorant concerning uh, his promises, uh, his power, and his provisions that he's made for his people. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Tell your neighbor, I'm not that person anymore. En el libro no, de, no, de Oseas dice, mi pueblo pereció por falta de ignorancia. La palabra ignorante no debe de ofendernos, sino inspirarnos a conocer más de Dios, de la palabra de Dios, para que nosotros no caigamos en un error por ignorancia. Watch this. And it seems like every time we find answers to some of our questions, new questions keep on coming. I don't know about anybody else, but it seems like questions tend to come a whole lot faster than answers. Y a veces nosotros buscamos las respuestas y las respuestas a veces vienen rápido, pero no es la realidad así a veces, sino que la verdadera respuesta a veces se demora un tiempo. I'm sure that most of us, if not all of us, would agree that some of the questions that we need answers to right now are not necessarily new ones or new questions. Yo estoy seguro que a veces las preguntas que nosotros tenemos y no tenemos respuestas aún no son nuevas para nosotros, pero seguimos nosotros esperando. Some of the questions that we are trying to answer right now are not necessarily new ones, but a variation or a modification of an old question that we thought had been satisfactorily settled and satisfied in Sunday school, Bible study, our private devotions, and in Sunday morning worship. 
Algunas de las respuestas que nosotros buscamos no son nuevas, sino que son antiguas. Y a veces nosotros queremos cambiarlas o interpretarlas diferente como nos la dieron en el servicio del domingo, en el devocional o en una prédica. The question we endeavor to answer this morning is how do we move from just being able to find an answer or a answer and coming into the knowledge of the truth concerning the one who is the answer. La pregunta de hoy día es, ¿cómo nosotros llegamos a la respuesta, a obtener la respuesta a nuestra pregunta acerca de aquel que es la verdad? We can do this by answering Jesus' question this afternoon, who do you say that I am? La respuesta la podemos obtener cuando le contestamos a Jesús y decimos nosotros, ¿quién soy yo? There is a distinct difference in finding an answer and knowing the one who is the answer. Because when we know the one who is the answer, it won't matter how intrusive, how disruptive, or how troubling the questions and concerns might be. Hay una diferencia entre alguien que tiene la respuesta en aquel que es la respuesta, no importa qué tan difícil sea la pregunta o intrusiva, la cuestión es ir a la verdad y la respuesta de quien estamos hablando. And I'm sure that all of us would agree that before there's a need to provide an answer, it is usually preceded by a question. And the question that Jesus is asking us this afternoon is who do you say that I am? Sabemos que antes de una respuesta la precede una pregunta. La pregunta de hoy día es la que nos hace Jesús cuando nos, pre nos pregunta y nos dice, ¿Quién decís tú que soy yo? We thank the Lord for questions because questions give us an opportunity to find answers. Answers to some of our most troubling situations and circumstances and also answers concerning the questions about who Jesus is and who we are in him. Le damos gracias al Señor Jesús por darnos la oportunidad de hacer preguntas, porque cuando hacemos preguntas nos damos cuenta de quién es Jesús y quiénes somos nosotros en Jesús. We are faced with so many questions day after day after day. Questions about our families, our finances, our future, and our faith. Todos los días nosotros nos enfrentamos a muchas preguntas acerca de nuestra familia, nuestras finanzas, y aún nuestra fe. Questions about COVID, Congress, and the issues facing our communities. Preguntas acerca del COVID, el Congreso, o cuestiones que tratan con nuestras vidas diariamente. Questions about Bible doctrine, questions about the divinity and the humanity of Christ, and questions about whether or not our salvation is something we possess or is our salvation in a person called Christ. Muchas preguntas acerca de nuestras creencias, nuestra fe, preguntas acerca de nuestra salvación aún, si nuestra salvación está basada en nosotros o en aquel que dio la vida por nosotros, nuestro Señor Jesucristo. We thank the Lord for questions because questions give us the opportunity to get answers. There are different categories and types of questions. Le damos las gracias al Señor por permitirnos hacer preguntas porque cuando hacemos preguntas obtenemos respuestas y las respuestas siempre están en Jesús. There are closed questions, open-ended questions, probing questions, leading questions, loaded questions, and rhetorical questions. Hay muchas diferentes clases de preguntas. Hay preguntas retóricas, hay preguntas que son definitivamente, están en alta estima, o también pueden estar en baja, pero tan, lo importante es que nosotros podemos hacer preguntas 
y obtener las respuestas en nuestra vida. There are also what's known as general questions. General questions can usually be answered with a yes or no answer. También hay preguntas generales en las cuales se puede responder con una respuesta de sí o no. Examples of some yes or no questions would be, do you like ice cream? This question can be answered with a simple yes or no. Yes, I like ice cream, chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. Another yes or no question is, would be, an example would be, is today Sunday? Yes, today is Sunday. Hay muchas preguntas generales y por ejemplo una de ellas es si te gusta comer helado. Tú puedes decir sí, me gusta comer helado de vainilla, chocolate o de fresa o si hoy es domingo y la, y la respuesta es simple, sí, hoy es domingo. I need you to listen up because the next set of questions are bonus questions. Necesito que escuchen bien porque las siguientes preguntas son de bono. Question. Do you believe that Jesus Christ died to pay the penalty and the price for our sins? Yes or no? La pregunta primera es, ¿Tú crees que Jesucristo murió para pagar la culpa de tu pecado por tus pecados? La respuesta es sí o no? Do you believe that we're saved by God's grace alone and not by the works of the flesh? Yes or no? ¿Crees tú? Que eres salvo por gracia y no por las obras de la carne, sí o no? Do you believe that in Christ you are complete in every way, yes or no? ¿Crees tú, are... ¿crees tú que en Cristo tú estás completo en todo y eres lleno en todo, sí o no? There are also other categories and types of questions, such as special questions. Special questions often use the prefix WH. Hay otras preguntas en estas categorías en las cuales son especiales, en las cuales hay un prefixo. Who, what, when, where, and why. An example of a special or specific question would be, Who is he? What is he to you? Where did you meet him? When did you meet him? And why is his praises continually in your mouth? Una de las referencias que podemos hacer es quién, qué, cuándo, dónde y por qué. Uno de los ejemplos especiales y específicamente es quién es él para ti? ¿A dónde lo conociste? ¿A dónde lo conociste a él y por qué? ¿Y por qué darle adoración con nuestros labios? There are also choice questions. Choice questions are questions that, are, that offer several different possible answers. On exams and tests, these are usually multiple choice questions. También hay otras preguntas en las cuales nosotros tenemos que tomar una decisión en cuestiones que ofrecen diferentes posibles respuestas las cuales son de prueba y de examen. I'm sure that most of us, if not all of us, would agree that questions in life tend to come a whole lot faster than answers. Tú, tú y yo estamos de acuerdo que en nuestras vidas a veces las preguntas vienen más rápido que las respuestas. This puts us in the position of trying to come up with the right answers to so many different questions. Esto nos pone a nosotros en la decisión o en la posición de tomar la buena eh, respuesta para dar la buena respuesta en diferentes ocasiones. The thing about multiple choice questions is that the answers are right in front of you. And although there are three or four answers we can choose from, only one of the answers is right. A veces tenemos múltiples respuestas en frente de nosotros. Pueden ser tres o cuatro. Pero la pregunta es, vamos a tomar la decisión correcta porque solo hay una respuesta verdadera. 
But when we know who Christ is, instead of there only being one right answer, the right answer might be all of the above. Pero cuando conocemos a Jesucristo, la respuesta en realidad no, puede, no necesariamente es una de las múltiples, sino todas las que están ahí. For example, A. Can God cause all things to work together for our good? Can the poor say that they are rich because of all that God has done? Pregunta número uno. Puede ser que Dios cause que todas las cosas trabajen a bien para nosotros. O puede ser que el pobre diga que todo, que somos ricos en el Señor a través de él. C. Is God still worthy of our praise even when we have problems? O la número, o la C, en la cual la pregunta es, ¿Será que Dios se merece nuestra adoración en medio de nuestros problemas? Is the answer to these questions A, B, C, or is it D, all of the above? The answer is D. God can cause all things to work together for our good. God, can the poor say that they are rich because of all that God has done? Is God still worthy of our praise even when we have problems? Uh, a, B, and C are all right answers. So the answer to these questions is D, all of the above. Así es que la respuesta para todas estas preguntas es A, B, o C. La respuesta es D, todas las de arriba, en la cual Dios puede hacer que todas las cosas trabajen a bien para nosotros, o que el pobre diga que él es rico por todo lo que Dios ha hecho por él, o que Dios se merece toda la adoración aunque estemos en problemas. Every now and then, Jesus may ask us a multiple choice question like he did his disciples. In Matthew's gospel, Jesus asked his disciples a multiple choice question question. He asked them, who do men say that I, the son of man, am? And they answered him saying, A. Some say you're Elijah, B. Some say you're John the Baptist, or C. Jeremiah, or one of the major prophets. En ciertas ocasiones, Dios nos puede hacer a nosotros la misma pregunta con respuestas múltiples, en las cuales, como por ejemplo, en el Evangelio de Mateo, el Señor le pregunta a sus discípulos, ¿Quién dice la gente que soy yo? Y la respuesta de unos fue, unos dicen que tú eres Elías, otros que Juan el Bautista, o uno de los profetas mayores. And then Jesus asked them a follow-up question to the previous question. This time he asked them what is known as a probing question. Luego el Señor les hace otra pregunta. Y esta pregunta puede ser categorizada como una pregunta para probarlos. He asked them a probing question. He asked, uh, but who do you say that I am? A probing question is a question that's asked to gain greater insight into what someone has just told you, helping to uncover the reason and the emotion behind what they said and why they said it. La otra pregunta que el Señor les hace a continuación es para probarlos a ellos para obtener una respuesta más profunda a lo que Él estaba preguntando, en la cual Él les pregunta él a los discípulos y les dice, ¿Quién decís vosotros que yo soy? Para probar una respuesta más profunda a lo que los discípulos pensaban de él, no lo que la demás gente pensaba de él. The disciples answered Jesus' first question this way, this way, by telling him that some folk believe that you're possibly one of a number of good people uh, that they named, including Elijah, John the Baptist, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. prophets. But Jesus' next question 
is what's known as a, a probing question. One type of probing question is for clarification. A clarifying question requires a fact-based response to help clarify the previous answer that was given. El Señor Jesucristo les hizo estas preguntas en las cuales los discípulos contestaron diciendo, unos dicen que eres Elías, otro Juan el Bautista, o uno de los profetas mayores. Pero el Señor quería hacerles una pregunta para probarlos, para clarificar la pregunta que está basada en hechos para ver en realidad lo que ellos pensaban de él. The other type of probing question is recommendation. This question involves an answer with a certain degree of persuasion. La otra clase de pregunta es para probar a través de la recomendación en la pregunta en la cual envuelve la respuesta de cierta forma de persuadir. And in response to Jesus' question, who do you say that I am? Peter answered Jesus' question with clarity and persuasion, saying, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Peter provided clarity to Christ's question by giving him a fact-based and faith-based response. Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Peter's response also uh, provided a strong recommendation by offering a high degree of persuasion in his answer concerning Jesus' question about himself. En la siguiente pregunta vemos cómo el apóstol Pedro responde la pregunta al Señor Jesucristo, en la cual él declara, siendo persuadido y con hechos basados en quién era él cuando él confesó, tú eres el Hijo del Dios viviente, en la cual el Señor Jesucristo le dio a él algo tremendo, en lo cual el Señor le declaró que eso le había sido revelado del cielo, porque él lo hizo comprobando los hechos. As we examine the text a little further, we will discover or we will see how much Peter's clarity and persuasion may have influenced Jesus' response to Peter's answer. Y si vemos y escudriñamos más este versículo, podemos ver cómo fue que esta respuesta influyó en cómo el Señor se refirió a Pedro a través de la clarificación que Pedro dio a la respuesta. Jesus told Peter that flesh and blood did not reveal this answer to you but my Father, which is in heaven, has revealed this unto you. And upon this rock, I will build my church, and the very gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Y el Señor Jesucristo continuó diciéndole a Pedro, Pedro, esto no te lo reveló ni carne ni sangre, sino mi Padre que está en los cielos. Y sobre esta roca fundaré mi iglesia y las puertas del infierno no prevalecerán contra ella. Jesus' response to Peter's answer should remind us that for some questions, there's only one right and suitable answer. Esta estas preguntas nos deben de nosotros convencer que a todas las preguntas hay una respuesta firme en la cual encaja bien en la verdad. And if and when flesh and blood is no longer the basis for what we believe or what we know. En la cual no envuelve ni carne ni sangre, sino lo que sabemos por revelación de Dios. And because the Father which is in heaven had revealed these truths unto us, there's no way the answer from him and about him could ever be wrong. Y es porque nuestras respuestas son reveladas del Dios Padre que está en los cielos. Estas respuestas nunca pueden ser equivocadas. And if we want to make sure that our response 
concerning who Jesus is is always correct. All we have to do is say what the scriptures have declared about him. Y si nosotros queremos dar una respuesta acertada acerca de nuestro Señor Jesucristo, lo único que tenemos que decir y declarar es lo que está escrito en la palabra. And also, or in addition to that, what he has made known to us about himself. And the word was made flesh and dwelled among us, according to John chapter 1, verse 14. Y una de esas respuestas es lo que Dios nos ha revelado, que el verbo se hizo carne y vivió entre nosotros. Y esto es lo que habla la Biblia. If and when somebody asks you, uh, or if Jesus asks you, who do you say that I am? Just say what Jesus said. Si alguien te pregunta en alguna ocasión, ¿quién decís vosotros que soy yo? Jesus said, I am your savior. I am your healer. I am your provider. I am your deliverer, I am your peace, and I am your rock. Nuestra respuesta debe ser, como dijo el Señor Jesucristo, yo soy tu salvador, yo soy tu sanador, yo soy tu proveedor, yo soy el que te ayudo, y él dice también, yo soy tu paz, soy tu roca. And if anybody asks you, who has sent me unto you, Tell them, tell them that I am has sent me unto you. Y si alguien te pregunta, ¿Quién te envió a mí? Pre, di, tu respuesta debe ser, yo soy, me ha enviado a ti. And in verse 18, Jesus told Peter that upon this divine revelation, Petros, I will build my church and the very gates of hell shall not prevail against it. En el versículo 18, Jesús le dice a Pedro, en esta revelación divina, te digo, tú eres Pedro, y sobre esta roca fundaré mi iglesia, y ni las puertas del infierno prevalecerán contra ella. There are three things I'd like to share with you before I take my seat or before I get out of my seat. In verse 13a, Jesus asked his disciples, who do men say that I am? And for preaching purposes, allow me to use my Holy Ghost imagination, and let's assume that Jesus is asking us this very same question, who do you say that I am? Hay tres cosas antes que quiero decir antes de tomar mi asiento. Y es que en el versículo 13, el Señor les pregunta a los discípulos, ¿Quién dicen los hombres que soy yo? Y para, para propósitos de predicación, déjenme hacer la misma pregunta, usando la imaginación del Espíritu Santo, cuando pregunta, ¿Quién decís vosotros que soy yo? This brings me to my first point. What if people's opinions concerning who Christ is today may be based in part on what the church or the members of the body of Christ is doing? En el primer punto, déjeme mencionar, la gente opina concerniente a Cristo hoy en día y puede estar basada en parte en lo que la iglesia está haciendo. Let me suggest to you that if the people's opinions of who Jesus is are based on the attitudes and behaviors of the people in the church, their misunderstanding about who Jesus really is might be wrong. Déjeme decirle que, o sugerirle, que si la respuesta o las opiniones de las personas están basadas en las actitudes de los miembros de la iglesia, Puede ser que ellos estén interpretando mal lo que es en realidad o quién en realidad es Jesús. And if we're willing to be honest and truthful, we might have to give the bad report before we give 
the good report. Si queremos ser honestos y hablar en verdad, a veces tenemos que dar el mal reporte antes de decir la verdad. We might have to give the bad report before we give the good report concerning Christ. Some folks say that you don't feed the hungry anymore or provide shelter for the homeless. Some folks say that they don't believe you would ever ride on a donkey again because a lot of your church leaders ride in Denali's. A veces tenemos que dar el mal reporte antes de dar el buen reporte. Porque a veces ellos no creen porque nos dicen, tú no le das de comer al hambriento, ni tampoco le das abrigo al que no tiene, o casa al que no tiene. O a veces no te creen si tú vas a poder andar en un burro porque te ven manejando un denali o algún carro de lujo. And some folk might say that you don't want to take time to talk to our young people. Some folk say that you talk about them, but don't take time to talk to them. Some folk might say, some folk would say uh, that, Lord, we don't mean you personally, uh, but some of those who you left to represent you are often absent and MIA. A veces hay personas que nos dicen, vosotros no os tomáis tiempo para hablar a los jóvenes, porque en vez de hablar de los jóvenes, no hablas con los jóvenes, con la gente. Y es por eso que a veces no creen, porque la gente a veces no conocen personalmente al Señor y a veces nosotros lo mal representamos. But the good news, there is some good news. The good news is found in verses 15 and 16. Uh, and this brings me to my second point, that this divine revelation can lead to true transformation in the lives of God's people. Pero hay buenas nuevas. En el versículo 15 y 16, sabemos que Cristo dijo que todas las cosas me traen. Que la divina revelación es la que nos guía y nos transforma a nosotros, los hijos de Dios. The good report is, uh, in spite of the things that we fall short of, short of in the church, the church of the living God, hear me now, is still the greatest organism, organization, and institution in the world. Y es que la verdad es que aunque nosotros le fallamos a Dios, la iglesia es la institución o organización de Dios sobre la tierra. And the best news is this, that this one immutable truth that Jesus is the Christ can be a life-changing experience. Y una y la más grande realidad o verdad es de que Jesucristo es el que transforma las vidas. The title Christ is the Greek word for Christos, which actually means anointed one. Christ is not his last name, but his title, for he is anointed and set aside to be the true king of both national Israel as well as spiritual Israel. Sabemos que la palabra Cristo en griego es Christos, que quiere decir ungido. Y las buenas nuevas es que Jesucristo Cristo no es un apellido, sino que él es el ungido de Jehová que transforma las vidas. This brings me to my third and final point. In verse 17 it says, Blessed art thou, Simon bar Jonah, because this deep revelation that has been given to you and to us did not come by way of human intellect. Sabemos que Cristo es el ungido, el Dios de Israel espiritual. Y en el versículo 17 sabemos que también habla el Señor y le dice, Simón, bienaventurado eres, porque esta es una revelación profunda que se te ha dado a ti 
en una forma en la cual tu intelecto la puede comprender. This divine revelation did not come by way of human intellect, but by revelation from the Father, which is in heaven, and by way of illumination and the enlightenment that comes from the Holy Spirit. Esta es una revelación, una respuesta de Dios en la cual no vino por revelación del intelecto, sino por revelación de Dios para que la pudiera comprender. Porque el Dios que está en los cielos, Él es el que da el entendimiento y la iluminación. This revelation, this illumination and this enlightenment by way of the Holy Spirit uh, is so much so that our desires to build Christ's church would move from our heads to our hearts and from our hearts to our hands so that we can do the work of building Christ's church, a church that the very gates of hell shall not and will not be able to prevail against. Esta revelación, esta iluminación de Dios se mueve a través del Espíritu Santo, por Dios, a la iglesia, desde la cabeza hasta el corazón, de los cora del corazón a nuestras manos, para que podamos hacer el trabajo de Dios a través de la iglesia, sobre la cual ni aún las puertas del infierno prevalecerán contra ella. In other words, we need to not only know that he is the Christ, but we need to act like we know. In otras palabras, no, so, no basta solamente saber que él es el Cristo, sino actuar porque él Why? es el Cristo. Why? Because this divine revelation can release miraculous impartations that have eternal implications demonstrated through our practical applications in both our conversation and in our conduct. La pregunta es por qué? Y es que la divina revelación se fluye a través de impartimientos milagrosos que son de eterna aplicación, que son demostrados a través de la práctica y la aplicación en nuestras conversaciones y nuestra conducta. Did you remember? that the stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. They rejected him because they kept trying to uh, answer the right question with the wrong answer. Who do you say that I am? La pregunta aquí es también, y nos hace recordar, la piedra que desecharon los edificadores ha venido a ser cabeza del ángulo para que nuestras respuestas a nuestras preguntas no sean equivocadas. And, and when somebody asks you who Jesus is, tell them that Jesus is the Christ, the son of the living God, period, comma, pet sentence, paragraph, chapter, and book. Confirmed and affirmed for us that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. Así que cuando alguien te pregunta quién es Jesús, tu respuesta tiene que ser contundente y declarar que Él es Jesucristo, el Hijo del Dios Altísimo, y punto, y coma, y no hay seguido, sino que eso encierra toda la verdad. Watch this. In closing, the law of recognition teaches us that everything you need or want is already in your life, merely awaiting on your recognition of it. Déjeme What's decir, that in your hand? Déjeme decirle que la ley del de reconocimiento nos enseña que todo lo que nosotros necesitamos o queremos ya está en nuestra vida, esperando solamente nuestro reconocimiento reconocimiento y que ya está en nuestras manos. Everything that we need or want is already in our life, merely awaiting on our recognition of it. God asked Moses, what's that in your hand? You better recognize. 
if it's you, Lord, bid me to come is what Peter said. You better recognize. Uh, 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 um, uh, somebody asked, who shall I say sent me? You better recognize. Uh, the centurion told Jesus, you don't have to come to my house. Just speak the word. Tell somebody you better recognize. Sabemos nosotros que todo lo que necesitamos o queremos ya está en nuestras vidas esperando nuestro reconocimiento y que ya está en nuestras manos. Cuando el Señor le dijo a Moisés, ¿qué está en tus manos? Él lo reconoció. Cuando el Señor le preguntó a Pedro, o Pedro le preguntó al Señor, nosotros tenemos que entender y reconocer que el Señor le dijo, ven a mí. Tenemos que reconocer. Cuando Dios, alguien te pregunte a quién debemos ir o por qué debemos ir, tenemos que nosotros reconocer. Somebody point to yourself and tell yourself, you better recognize that everything that you need or want is already in your life, awaiting on your recognition of it. And in this case, recognizing that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God, is a is the point of recognition where every other reality, every other blessing, every other gift, every everything else is associated and connected to the understanding and the recognition that Jesus is the Christ, that he is the son of the living God, that he is our savior, he is our Lord, he is our redeemer, he is our healer, he is our provider, he's everything that we stand in need of. The question this morning is, who do you say that he is? Who do you say that Jesus is? Hoy podemos preguntarle al que está a la par nuestro, tú reconoces quién es Jesús, porque él es nuestro proveedor, él es el que nos salva, él es el que nos sana, él es el que nos guarda, él es el que nos guía y nos protege en nuestra vida, él es el que merece toda la gloria y la honra y tenemos que dar una respuesta cuando contundente, cuando alguien nos pregunta quién es Jesús en nuestras vidas. Who do you say that I am? ¿Quién tú dices que soy yo? We thank God for the word this morning. Uh, let us pray. Lord God, we thank you this afternoon, not just for a visitation, but an inhabitation of your spirit. God, we sense your presence. We sense your power. And we believe that your promises are true. And most of all, we believe everything about you that the scriptures have said. We know, oh God, according to the scriptures, that you are the Christ, that you're the son of the living God. And being members of the church, of the body of Christ, we know that in us and through us, you're able to build a church that the very gates of hell will not and shall not be able to prevail against it. Now, God, we give thy name praise, glory, and honor, and we do say thank you. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yeah. Who do you say <laughs> that Jesus, the Son of God, is? Amen. 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 Maybe somebody is here today that don't really know who Jesus is. Amen. Opportunity is always, but the doors are always open for you to join Jesus. Amen. Uh, to, to invite him into your life. Amen. There's so many people that have that have got this thing a little twisted and they think that that, that, that just joining the church is all you need to do. But you must be born again. Amen. 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 Who do you say that Jesus, the Son of God, is? Amen. Amen. I, I'm trying not to preach. Amen. You know how you know how it is. 
it's two times when a preacher wants to preach. When it's his time to preach and when he hears somebody else preach. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and, and let me tell you, I feel like preaching. Amen. I feel like preaching today. Amen. Amen. I thank and praise God for all that's been said. I, I did see a few people that's not, that, that, that's not usually on. And that's uh, um, uh, uh, Dr. Quarles brother of, uh, Pastor Quarles, another is Mount Martin Quarles. Uh, 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 Brother Martin, if you're on, uh, I, I think I see you. Then I, I, I need you to, to, to say a few words to us, if you don't mind. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Pastor Paul. Uh, give it honor to the Lord. Um, mm -hmm. Thank God in coming um, as a part of uh, Transformational Ministries International. Uh, just truly blessed to be on this platform this morning. Uh, did not our hearts burn from within as the man of God spoke, by the way. And so I'm truly honored this morning to be here with my beautiful wife, my first lady, Eleanor Diane Quarles. And I certainly enjoyed the message and the service this morning thus far. And again, I'm honored to be here and uh, just thank God for this platform. Thank God for the word. And, you know, I do know, I will say this, uh, before I get out of my seat, as Dr. Ron alluded to earlier, <laughs> we can never get enough of the word of God. We can never hear enough. We just came out of our services several hours ago and had a wonderful message come forth from another uh, guest minister and my friend earlier today. But certainly wanted to join you uh, today and, um, and in support of my brother, but more importantly, in support of the word of God and the, the blessing um, of the fellowship and the communion. So I thank God for what you're doing, uh, Pastor Paul, and uh, thank God for you just continue to do what you're doing. And I love the, the uh, translation of the message today. Uh, that bilingual uh, platform is just off the charts. And has given uh, myself some ideas on how we can improve uh, some opportunities for us to improve the growth of, of our ministry at uh, Transformational Ministries International. And thank you for acknowledging me as well. I appreciate it so much. My wife is right next to me. I wasn't sure she wanted to say something. It looks like she's shaking her head. But <laughs> that's my first lady, Eleanor Diane. Well, I'm proud of her. So if you see me holding my chest out when I talk about her, that's yeah. definitely something. Yeah, we're blessed. But thank you. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. God bless you, uh, Dr. Quartz. Another, I'm, I'm gonna call him Dr. Quartz too. Amen. Amen. I thank you, praise God, for all that's been said, <laughs> all that's been said and done. But, huh? I I see my good friend, uh, friends, uh, Alfred Harrison, and his first lady. Uh, I think. Are you coming? Where are you coming from? I know you're angels of hope. But where are you located you're, right now? Every time I see broadcast, you, you're somewhere else. Your broadcast has reached uh, the, Hana, the island of Honolulu, Hawaii today. <laughs> <laughs> We're excited uh, about this. Thank you for inviting us. Uh, I want to thank God for the powerful teaching, the word, the revelation, but even also the interpretation. I thought about the book of Acts when they were... Uh, th they were inhabited by the inhabited by the Holy Spirit, and it said that they spoke in a language that all of them understood in their own language. They spoke in a tongue that was understood in their own language. So I thank you, uh, uh, Elder Paul, for this ministry, what you're doing, uh, Hope Evangelistic, and as we have opened up the Hope uh, Ministry Missions House here in uh, Waianae, Hawaii. Uh, we are excited about what God is doing in this area, and we're excited to be with you. God is just good, and this technology Amen. has allowed us to partake Amen. of this all the way five hours behind you, but right on time. <laughs> God bless Amen. you, brother. Amen. God bless you, too. Amen. Before I go too much further, uh, I, I'm, I'm working a, a Quarles theme here today. Uh, Felicia, are you on? Felicia? I know you're on here. Yes. 
Oh, yeah, unmute yeah. yourself and say something to us because next week, three o'clock, with all the same numbers, she will be the guest speaker. Amen. Alicia, tell us a little bit about yourself. <laughs> um, uh, most of you know who I am. I'm just Felicia. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the founder of uh, Women's International Covenant, um, the uh, wife of uh, Pastor Cornell Dunmore, the mom, the proud mom of uh, uh -oh. Braxton Lloyd and <laughs> Royce Madison Dunmore. <laughs> um, uh, thank God for being on uh, this um, afternoon. Um, I think it was... Uh, Pastor Martin, my brother, saying something about this was his second service. Well, this is pretty much my third. And so, <laughs> so um, I'm glad to be on this platform. I thank God for you, uh, Pastor Paul. Um, I, and I, I was looking at the name Hope Evangelistic Church. I said, what an appropriate name, because you've been evangelizing ever since I've known <laughs> you, practically. Yeah. Uh, I tell you, uh, thank God for your lovely wife. You know my heart, uh, yeah. Belinda, Belinda oh, Alexander. Oh, oh. Love her. Um, know how I feel about the two of you. Um, I thank God for my brother, Dr. Ron Qualls, um, who is a super duper brother. He's he's one of my superheroes. Yes. Um, yeah. A man yeah. that lives yeah. according to the word of God. Uh, whatever he speaks, uh, whatever he's uh, speak, uh, living out. I always say that I want to not just preach the word, but I want to live out the word. You know, I want to walk right. out the That's word right. of God, you know, being the doer and not the hearer only. So I thank God for you, Brother Ron and my sister Faye. Um, I thank you for the word that was preached. It was good. Um, I got another meal today, so I'm full. <laughs> Amen. I have Amen. dined sufficiently. <laughs> so um, I thank God for all of you. Greetings to all of you that are on this Zoom call. And so um, just thank God for all of you. Amen. 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 I want to I wanna also say that uh, some of you mentioned the translation. Uh, Pastor Rudy, uh, Associate Pastor Rudy, is... Uh, has been my translator. I, I, I have a few churches that I've preached at that are Hispanic. And uh, Pastor Rudy has been my translator since um, 04, 04, uh, I think was the first time. And uh, he's done such an excellent job. I, I've grown, I've grown to, to be able to preach with him, with a translator, him as my translator in such a manner that that it doesn't doesn't even bother me. I know it bothers some people, uh, but uh, I want to say, think of it like this. Not only are you getting fed today, but we're going to put it on Facebook, and I have some Hispanic followers on Facebook, uh, and they're going to be able to get the same teaching, amen, that, that, that you got, amen, today. And and by being able to translate it, uh, it helps to further the gospel. Amen. And, 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 and if you know me, you know that I'm always about spreading a larger net. Amen. <laughs> so let's uh, uh, pray, be prayerful uh, uh, for the ministry because I do want to translate it, uh, translate all of my services. Uh, I'm trying to get Rudy to come on and preach for us in English, but uh, you know, He's not, <laughs> he, he's not up for it right now, but, but he's, he's an excellent preacher. He's an excellent yeah. preacher. Uh, he's, and he's anointed. That's, that's the good thing. It don't, it, it don't matter about all that other stuff, <laughs> but, he, but he's anointed. Amen. And he loves God. I, I talked to him yesterday for an hour or so. And, and all he want to talk about is the word, is the word, is the word. Uh, uh, he, he's my brother in Christ. And, been knowing it for a good while now. And uh, so I just thank and praise God for all of you. Looking forward to next week with Felicia uh, uh, preaching. Uh, y'all hope y'all don't mind me leaving out titles. Uh, all y'all are family to me. Amen. Quo's family. 
when I married and, and married my wife, I married the Quarles family also. So yes. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know, but it, they're one family. They've always been one family. Amen. I uh, so uh, let's see. Is there anybody else on here? Rudy, you want to say anything? I know we have Robin coming up on first Sunday. Yes. Sec Who? Jackie Stewart. Jackie Stewart, say something to us. Well, praise the Lord, everybody. I'm just happy to be in the number, happy to be in the midst. I have really enjoyed the service today, the singing, the, um, the horn. Uh, I've enjoyed <laughs> everything. And even the, the powerful message that we had from Pastor Quarles, that was really good. And so I'm thankful that I was able to participate this time. Amen. Amen. We're going to ask who I am. Yes, my wife is saying, have Rudy say something. Have Rudy say something. Rudy, you better say something. Okay, we down and hang <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'm just very Robin, grateful you for the opportunity uh, that you always give me, Pastor Paul, and everybody here on the platform. Uh, Dr. Quarles, it's always an honor to translate for you. Um, and, and it's like the Bible says that I don't know that I a faithful and wise servant whom his master made him ruler over his household to give them food in due season. And I know you're a servant of God who is making an effort to give us the food in due season. It is now the time for, and, and you know, there's be, going to be a time where you, nobody's going to need a translator, but unfortunately now we do. And I'm very <laughs> thankful for the word that you've sent today. And I'm sure it's going to reach uh, Spanish speaking folks. And uh, I just hope, and I know that this word never comes back empty. May the Lord Amen. bless all of you. Amen. Okay, Robin, got something to say? Robin, you are either on Cody. Let the church say amen. Let amen. the church say amen. God has spoken. So let the church say amen. amen. And I say he is my everything. Thank you, amen. Elder Ron, for the powerful amen. word. We were encouraged amen. and inspired. Thanks for the reminder. Amen. 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 Rob, Belinda, you got anything to say? I'm trying to get Belinda to say something, Robin. You know how it goes. <laughs> we got her to sing. We're not gonna keep bothering her. Don't press it. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, she she'll be bringing the uh, Easter message. She'll be bringing the Easter message. So so we'll get a chance to hear her preach. Um, the ball. Ball to find the, uh, yes. I, I just uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Um, no, go ahead. I joined the service late. Uh, one of the things I wanted to share is um, I wanted to first acknowledge your wife, Belinda. That's a big oversight on my part. Uh, no problem. No God, problem. We love her. Thank God for her. And I know she um, sits, uh, sits alongside of you, stands alongside of you to make happen what happens and uh, hope they're evangelistic. Also, the second uh, thing is I want to know how I possibly can sow a seed into your ministry. So I joined late and um, also want to let everybody know I'm in Stone Mountain, Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia area. So, <laughs> ministry. so those three things that I apologize for interrupting, but just oh, that's to okay. Know. Yes, sir. Uh, Thank you. Well, well, uh, we, we did not take an offering. I have not been taking an offering on this platform. Uh, okay. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, on, my, on, the, on the church's website, there is opportunity. There, I think you you might have to dig for it, but I think there's an opportunity there. Uh, uh, HopeEvangelistic.org. Okay, thank you. I okay. appreciate that. Yes, sir. I, I hope I didn't put you on the spot. I apologize. No, 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 no. Matter of fact, uh, I had a enterprising young lady call me yesterday, and, and we talked for a good while, and and she 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 had the same uh, concern. Yes, sir. Thank you. So, so, so I was I was more than prepared for it. Yes, uh, uh, Pastor Paul, all Pastor, hearts and mind clear. Pastor, we're going to dismiss. Pastor I Paul. see all I see all the chats coming up and down, and uh, uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to um, 
I'm going to ask uh, Reverend Harrison, I ain't heard you talk so much in, in such a long time. Close this out, please. Hey, hey Pastor Paul, Pastor Paul, Pastor Paul. You have, you have, you have closing remarks, bro. Yeah, Pastor Paul, just uh, very quickly, if you don't mind, I do see Elder Mike Morgan and Elder yep. Sonja. If you don't mind just giving either one of them an opportunity. Okay, well, I don't want to leave anybody out. I don't want to leave anybody out. I appreciate out. that. I do appreciate okay. that. Okay. Okay. We certainly, okay, we, cer one of you. we certainly thank and praise God for this platform that you have uh, given uh, Pastor Paul the, us the opportunity to come and share the word. We were truly blessed by the word of God on today. And I certainly thank God for my, my pastor, my mentor, my friend, Elder Ron Pauls, who has deposited a lot into my life and into my wife's life as well. And I certainly can attest that he has made a difference in my life and not only just past, not only just past past uh, not only just elder ron paul but each and every one of you uh i was actually sharing this with elder Pauls the other day that i thank god for each and every one of you because you all have deposited something into my life as well as my wife's life you all have uh taken time out of your schedules to make sure that my wife and i uh, have become the preachers that we are today. So we just thank and praise God for each and every one of you. And we just want to say praise the Lord for that wonderful message today. Amen. 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 Cassandra. Cassandra, unmute yourself. Thank you, Elder, for the wonderful word today. I, I thank and praise God for each and every one of you. Um, this is our third service also today. So I'm full also, Felicia. <laughs> but that was a wonderful, <clears throat> great reminder and a um, powerful message for me to um, take and share. And um, I thank you for this um, opportunity to say um, something to our apostle. Thank you so much. Amen. 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 I, 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 I'm sorry I, I didn't, you weren't on my screen at first. Amen. On one of my screens. I got you on the other screen. Uh, didn't want to leave anybody out. Anybody else have anything to say before Reverend Harrison dismiss us? I thank God for all of you. Uh, everybody, uh, uh, Anthony and Terry, they opened up service thank for us. Thank they, God. They're going to be preaching for us on the second Sunday and uh, next month, second Sunday. And uh, then uh, who else? There's somebody else I saw. Who? Oh, you gonna say something, Anthony? Well, I just wanna say I thank God for the word. Thank God for the fellowship. Uh, I think I heard you say that Pastor Paul was in Kannapolis, North Carolina. Yeah. Yes, yeah, he I is. Know, I know a little bit about Kannapolis. I used to drive a day cab down there. Okay, all right. Enjoy the word. And uh, Amen. really looking for the fellowship, looking forward to uh, fellowshipping and just getting to know everyone on a more uh, intimate level and, and fellowship. So thank Amen. God, me, me, Amen. Behalf of me and my wife at Heaven's Embassy. Amen. Uh, that, that, that team is going to be preaching for us on the second Sunday. Amen. I'm, 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 I'm really, my ears are perked up wanting to hear what they got to say. Amen. Anybody else? Anybody else? Reverend Harris, are you still there? Y yes, I'm still here. Okay, dismiss us, please. Father, we and thank Claudia, you. is Claudia going to say anything? Claudia? <laughs> no, she's uh, not going to say anything today. <laughs> okay. But, uh, let us close out in prayer. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this fellowship. We thank you, Lord, for this worship experience. We thank you, Lord, for the word of God coming through song, coming through worship, and coming through the preach word, and even the translation, Father, that went forth, Father, that we would understand your word in our own language, Father. We thank you for this ministry. We thank you for the leadership, Pastor Paul, 
and Sister Belinda, Elder Belinda. We thank you, Lord, for all of those who have joined us today, Father. Whether they, whatever their respective ministries are, we pray, pray now, God, that your word and your hope of salvation will go forth even beyond this platform of Zoom to the airways of Facebook, Twitter, and wherever, God, that it might reach the souls, Father, and bring in a harvest into your kingdom, God. We thank you, Lord, for the rock that you have established, Father, for us to lean on, not only to lean on, but to stand on, Father. We thank you for the word, God, and the questions that were asked, that we might respond affirmatively, Father, that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God, our Savior, our salvation, our hope, yes, our yes, everlasting yes, power, God. Yes. In the name of Jesus, you, we Jesus. bless your name and we glorify you now, Lord. May you rest, rule, and abide with us now, yes, for Lord. Forth and forevermore, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. Now, Dr. Quarles, I, I praise God for you, man. I praise God for you lending yourself to the Lord to, to give us that word. Amen. Amen. And I say, say good evening to all of you guys. All y'all that had three services, go eat something. <laughs> God bless you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. All right, now. Yeah, it takes a little power. You, you on your phone? Yeah. You, you, you didn't stay on no tablet. No, because I was trying to turn the volume down. Okay. And instead of turning it down, it went up, and I couldn't get it back down, so I just shut it off. Okay. Was Eduardo 